Excitement enveloping everyone here because it is a huge occasion. The Champions League final. Who's going to be crowned Club Kings of Europe? It's Borussia Dortmund. They take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It should do. Just look at the quality down there. Vinicius Junior has the feed into the box and putting pay to the danger. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Emre Can plays alongside Marcel Zavica in the centre of midfield. And Niklas Füllkrug is up front. Chance to cross. Oh, he's lost possession. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Julian Brandt, a player who possesses pace and daring. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is the ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. And fired over by Kroos. Short with the clearance. Nacho. Now with Valverde. Well, a deft clearance. Corner conceded. Corner kick delivery from Tony Cross. Strongly fisted away. Cross could be useful. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. Intercepting it intelligently. Vinicius. Marlon. Well, this could really help the cause. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Tony Cruz. Danger now. Vinicius Junior. Big to a chance. He's got to score. And it was a great chance for 1 0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. lost by Real Madrid 
Pumas. Vierson. Emre Can now. This is Kroos, Jude Bellingham, showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. sort of response will we see from them now Jaden Sancho a oh, super piece of play Zavica and the shot great defending and a very good challenge Federico Valverde. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. And well, the supporters think it's on. Teammate available. Sancho. And he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. To pick out a teammate, it might still be problematic. Well, Bobby in the way, well, no way through in the end. Oh, he's given us away, and the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realized that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Two minutes of stoppage time. Mendy. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude the first half here at Wembley.
The ball moving again. Real have the lead, but they won't be taking anything for granted. Valverde. They're all doing their bit to keep them out. Aurelia Chouameni. David Bellingham. Determined defending. Ian Manson. Madsen. Nico Schlotterbeck. Marcel Zabitza. That's the challenge that was required. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Madsen. Oh, that's a really good pass. And just has to remain calm. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Let's see this again because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. And just look at that strike. He opens up his body and makes a really clean contact with the ball. A great finish. Well, I have to say, you can understand his frustration. This is going to be an edgy game now. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Vinicius Junior. Rodrigo. So half an hour remaining. Kukrug. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Zabitza. Trying his luck. Just can't get it past him. And a corner to a Borussia Dortmund. Chance perhaps for them to take the lead if they get it right. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, a bit short with the clearance. And the attack fizzling out. Mendy. This is Kroos. Kroos. No potential danger. That's a good looking shot. Well, they gave it the big build up, but the keeper has it comfortably. Can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. Nacho Fernandez and Valverde. Firing it towards goal, just couldn't get it through. Real find them. 
themselves in a position of menace. Jose Lu. be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Oh, good-looking run on the attack. Is there to be late drama? Mendy. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Aurelien Chouameni. Getting in there to intercept. Use of advantage for Dortmund. Marlin. Could cross it in here. With time running out, it is a corner to Dortmund. Let's see what they can produce. The referee was on a line to see whether anything would come of that, but now he's going to hand out the caution. And he was never going to get away with that one. It's really good refereeing. Time for composure on the ball. 
that is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up for the hosts coming off so back in business here the first period of extra time and it might well come down to mental fortitude who wants this more a tremendous block Adeyemi the ball with Luka Modric passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead happy to take on the shot and the keeper made it look routine it was anything but this could be a chance for Real Madrid to jump ahead from a corner Ancelotti can sense a goal coming here. He's driving his team forward now. Now well, they fancy a short one. And the cross goes in. And still dangerous. Modric. Just the challenge that was required. Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. to play in possession well they kept their shape defensively job done for now Carvajal had pressure to deal with Aurelia Chouamini here's Carvajal Eduardo Camavinga you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned well really walking a tightrope but not seeing yellow for a second time well I think the referee's right it's not a second yellow but he needs to be careful now Mendy clear deflection in the corner now Keeper was trying to do, but it has gone straight out of play. Substitution it is for Dortmund. time comes to an end still level here well the big question who will come out on top we're into the second period of extra time here for the goal that would put them ahead but not forcing it and good work from Real Madrid to win the ball back Valverde up to Carvajal a very good challenge Madsen and they still have designs on the win. Good pick out the teammates. It's not a bad ball. And it still could be dangerous. Well, he was being closely watched. 
Duncan. Well, the defender knew he couldn't get to the ball first, and he just did enough to put him off there. throw Shuameni the ball with Luka Modric Aurelien Shuameni at this late stage Real Madrid doing everything in their power to grab a winner Board showing one additional minute. After 120 minutes, they cannot be separated, and so in this Champions League final, it comes down to a shootout. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. Job done from the spot. And he's beaten the keeper. Can he get the better of the keeper? And the penalty converted here. He had to score, and he does. Can he convert? And it's gone in. And he's denied them from the spot. And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. Well, it comes down to this. In, and they win. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And he scores! And so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast. to the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Not 
would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. And now for the photographs that will surely stand the test of time. And what a great achievement for this club. And these are photos that are going to be cherished for a long time to come.